Dear learners, welcome to the NIOS studio. I am Savitri Singh, National Consultant of Early Childhood Care and Education. Today's subtopic is Principles of Program Planning. After studying this lesson, you will be able to understand the principles of program planning and how children learn. Before we discuss the principles of program planning, let us know how children learn. Children learn when they get the opportunity to play. They like play and if we will give them the opportunity to play, they will learn more. So play is very important for them and then comes observe and express. Give them the opportunity to observe the environment. If they will observe the environment, they will express something. They will talk to each other and they will learn how to express the things. Now third, form familiar and new experiences. By observing, they will get new exp experiences. By observation, they will observe the environment and in this way they will get the new experiences and they will form new experiences with this exercise. Now comes participate, engage and communicate. Let them participate in the activities. If they will participate, they will enjoy the activities, they will communicate the, uh, with each other and they will learn in this way. It is very important that give them the opportunity to participate and engage in the activities and let them communicate with each other. Give them the opportunity to experiment and explore. If they will do experiment, if they will explore the world, they will learn more. We also always say that learning by doing. If we will give them the opportunity to experiment, they will learn by themselves. Then give them opportunity to ask questions. Don't say, keep quiet, keep quiet. No. Let them ask questions. They have lots of queries. Let them ask questions and fulfill their, satisfy their questions. Satisfy their queries. This is very important. In this way also they learn. And then Imitate, in act and perform. Give them the opportunity to role play. In this way also they learn. And the most important, the environment should be like this, that they should feel physically and emotionally safe. If they will feel physically and emotionally safe, they will learn. There will be no fear, the envir environment will be happy and they will learn more. Now we are coming on principles of program planning. Principles of program planning, Ministry of Women and Child Development has prepared a principles of program planning in the curriculum framework. So let us discuss, when we plan, we have to keep in our mind the activities should foster all the domains of development. Then only the development will be done. Then comes the activities should be age appropriate and developmentally appropriate. If it is age appropriate and developmentally appropriate, then only the children will take interest in the activities and they will understand the activities. Activities should not be more than 15 to 20 minutes because their attention span is very limited. And so activities should not more than 15 to 20 minutes. Now we have to follow some progress, how to progress the activities. The activities should go simple to complex, familiar to unfamiliar, concrete to abstract. What is simple to complex? Let us see. These are two pieces of one picture. Ask the children to join it. Children will 
join it and complete it. This is the two pieces puzzles and this is the simplest one. If child is able to do it comfortably, then we can do another activity and this is little difficult. So simple to complex. This is this is three pieces. These are three pieces and ask the child to join it. Now child will join it, try to join it like this. Yes, is it okay? Yes, is it okay? Yes, this is done. So this is simple to complex. Then one more thing I want to show you. Uh, simple to complex, if we are taking three number concept, first what will we do? We will show them only two sizes. One is bigger, one is big and other is small. Then ask the child to, this is the simplest, big and small. Then one more size has come. Now ask the child to arrange in serial order. Now this is the biggest one, after this, this will come and then this. If the child is able to do this, now make it little difficult and add one more size. This is simple to complex. So slowly complexity have, we have to increase. Then comes familiar to unfamiliar. Now I told you that first if you are taking the theme animals, first you show the familiar picture. This is familiar to all the children. So familiar to unfamiliar. Then you can come show the picture of unfamiliar. This is not so common. This is very common, this is familiar and this is not so common. So this is unfamiliar to all the children. So familiar to unfamiliar. And then comes concrete to abstract. Suppose you are given the experience of apple. So what will you do? If you are, you are describing apple and some people haven't seen the apple. So what you have to do, you have to bring the apple, you have to show them the color of the apple and let them touch, they will know the texture of the apple, cut it and taste, make them uh, test it, they will know the taste of the apples. So this is the concrete learning and after that you can give them abstract learning. This is called concrete to abstract learning. Now next. Activities should be balanced. Balanced of activities should be there. Balanced between active and passive activities. If children are running, jumping all the time, no. Sometimes they will running, jumping, they will do the, this type of activities. After that, they have to sit quietly and they have to listen something. So it should be balanced. Balanced between active and passive activities. Now, indoor and outdoor activities. Activities, some activities should be indoor. Don't ask them to sit all the time in the classroom. After some time, they should be allowed to go out and some activities should be outside also. So, there should be balance in indoor and outdoor activities. And then comes free and guided activity. Some activities should be free, let them freely, uh, let them do whatever they want to do. And then after some time, some guided activities should be introduced. And then comes the some activities should be child initiated and some activities should be adult and initiated. So there should be balanced in child initiated activities also child will initiate the activities and some activities should be adult initiated, teacher will initiate the activities. So these are the principles of uh, program planning, time duration of 
preschool program should not be three or four hours. They should give the opportunity to experiment and the activities should be explained in their mother tongue. And these are the principles Ministry of Women and Child Development has discussed in their curriculum framework. So up till now, you have learned how children run. This is very important. And then principles of program planning. Thank you.